It was great. I loved oh, Wash. I thought it was drama. really, you know, normally cup finals yeah. can be a bit turgid, yeah. can't they? But that was absolutely brilliant. Full of drama, wasn't it? I mean, yeah. not, I know not a lot of goals, we get that, but at the same time, the drama was unbelievable. Th mm. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, not a lot of goals. That was partly because, you know, Chelsea's finishing was terrible. Yeah. But Kelleher was absolutely fantastic as well. But look, Ali, I mean... Do the Liverpool owners, do they need to be on the phone today to try and persuade Jurgen Klopp to change his mind about whatever it should Surely they've done that. I mean, yes, they have to do it again, if you're asking me that question. But I would have thought, you know, when, when it came out and the news broke, you would, have, you would have thought it'd be common sense for Liverpool's owners to do everything they possibly could to dissuade them from leaving. Whether he's, he's set in stone and you know, and he's he's made his mind up and that's it, which certainly looks the case. But Jeff, you got to say, yeah, you you got to go back and have another go. You got to go back and have another mm. go. You know uh, what he's achieved, just the way he handles it, everything about it. Young kids coming off the well, bench. Well, he showed breathtaking faith in their ability. Yeah, and you could see that reflected in their performance. Yeah. I, 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 it was it was amazing. It, it, it was fearless. You know, and it be fair to them. Those kids are fearless. Those kids that you're bringing on are, are, are absolutely fearless, and they're, they're great. And, and the one thing you got to say, if he does go, it looks as though he's leaving Liverpool in fantastic hands, mm. which isn't always the case when a successful manager leaves the club. You know, um, uh, yeah, you, you got to have another bite at him to see if he would stay, because from Liverpool's point of view. He's, he's just a different level. Different level. Now, I, I didn't think Chelsea played badly. And by the way, we're talking about kids. You know, it, it wasn't quite the same. I, I get that. But, no, no, I but, but they had Colwell, who's 20, yeah. Augusto, who's 20, Palmer's 21, Kaiseda's 22, yeah. Madueke's 21, Jackson's 22, Gilchrist, who's 20, was on the bench, you know? So they've got a young side uh, as well. D do they have to stick with Pochettino? Or are you with some of the fans no, who think I, the time's I, up? I, no, I think you've got to stick. I, I, I do. I, I don't think change, you know, is a necessity. I don't. What a chance they had to win a trophy. At the same time, I, I'm more, Jeff. I, I, I'm more in the camp. I, I, I give Liverpool pray, more praise than than Chelsea stick. To be honest with you, could Chelsea have won? The chances to win it. The finishing was poor. Mm. I mean, the game could have the game, game could have gone either way. Liverpool's disallowed goal. Jackson's disallowed goal. Which dear me, I, I don't know how tight that was. And then you get Van Dijk's header. The, the game was in a knife edge, and it was a flick of the coin. So I mean, I I I, I I'm certainly not going to be as critical of Chelsea and Pochettino. As, as, as some some of the pundits and some people are, but what an opportunity it was for them to get his first piece of silverware. I, I, I absolutely don't deny that. The listeners who are saying we aren't giving Liverpool any credit, well, all back pages yes. of the papers today. The Sun going for kindergarten cop, cop hails, sorry, Klopp hails greatest cup win as he wins with the kids. The Times back page going for Klopp hails the special one. The Mail saying the special one, male sport, you can win anything with the kids. The Mirror going for bow wow. The Express headline is top of the Klops and the Telegraph. Klops kids beat Chelsea's billion pound bottle jobs. Now, if you heard that commentary yesterday when it happened, everyone went, oh, shady. But that was quite funny at the same time. Well, it's dominating a lot of the headlines today. Yeah. And actually, Pochettino was asked about it after the game. Um, it's inside the, the Times today. Tom Alnut saying uh, when Pochettino was asked about it, he said, I, I think we have similar groups. I have a good relationship with Gary. I respect his opinion. It was Gary Neville, of course, who said the billion pound bottle jobs. We made a few changes in extra time, but it's true. We didn't keep the energy and we finished in the second half how we finished. Um, but that that line calling clubs bottle jobs because Strong. they uh, uh, unfair. I think it's unfair. Right. I, I think it's unfair, um, and I, I I think you normally hear it from people that have never been there. Um, it's the first time I kind of heard it from somebody that has been there, like, like Gary. To be fair to him, but I disagree with him. You know, bottle jobs is far too strong. Uh, you you got to give Liverpool credit, right? And Chelsea could have won the game, right? They, they missed chances. Conor Gallas, a couple of good chances. Jackson's goals, very, very marginal. Keller's had a couple of great saves. I think it is extremely strong and wrong to call them bottle jobs, although they do deserve criticism. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you, Ali. You know, look, it, it's a great line from Gary, who's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Um, you know, and he calls so much of that game brilliantly as well, by the way. But bottle jobs, yeah, I mean, 
They were disappointing, weren't they, in, yep. in extra time? But they had 19 attempts on goal, mm -hmm. so they weren't passive during the course of the game. And I mentioned before, you know, they had their own kids out there. My question would be, with the billions they've spent, why are they having to play 20-year-olds in one of the biggest games of the season, you know? Um, they can say, well, we've invested for the future. Maybe so. The question is, would that future be under Mauricio? Um, I, I hope it is, yeah. personally. But Jeff, I don't know if you actually saw yesterday at the end of the game when they were going up to get their second place medals. Uh, Todd Bowley, it looks like, has gone to shake the hand of Maurizio Pochettino. It's only in a couple of the papers today. It's more more dominant online. And it looks like Poch has snubbed Todd Bowley. Is that another way of handing in your notice type thing? Or what's the what's the vibe there I, if you've I ignored think in the an owner? Instant, you, you know what it's like when you see... Um, if you see on a TV coverage of a football match, when you freeze a still, you can make it look like anything. Yeah. And I yeah. don't think that's been the case oh. at all. You know, I mean, he'd have a point, wouldn't he, if he was saying, you know, thank you very much for buying me Mudrick or somebody like that, mm. you know? Um, <laughs> but I, I don't think so at all. I think he's in for the long haul. Whether Todd Bowley's in for the long haul, I, I've got no idea. Yeah. No, I, I agree. I don't think, I mean... He's too classy, Pochettino, to do that. He's not. I mean, even if he's got a problem with him, he's not going to do that public snub like that. I, I, I think the picture just maybe mm. looks, makes you make you think there's something that's not really there. Whether okay. they got on well or not is another matter, and whether they agree with each other. But he's not. Gonna, I don't think he's going to do that. Speaking of things that will be there in terms of pictures, is the happiness of the young Liverpool players who got their opportunity, uh, the amount of them who got to play and who have played this season under Jurgen Klopp. He has the X factor yeah. as a manager, undoubtedly. And Definitely. how important that he is giving those youngsters the opportunity on his final season with the club. Oh, I it was sensational. I thought the biggest thing of mine, it's easy to bring your kids on if you're 2-0 up or you're 2-0 down. But he's bringing them on at 0-0 nil -nil yeah. in a key part of the game. I mean, and I just think he showed unbelievable faith. And yeah. that faith... You know, was reflected by the kids' performance because they knew they knew the boss believes in them, yeah. so they believe in themselves. I think it's in incredible, and I'll tell you what, and it won't be popular in every part of the country, I know, but goodness me, I, I think Klopp leaving Liverpool will be a massive loss for Liverpool, but it'll be a massive loss for the game in this country. Of course, it will. Well. Mm -hmm. he's, he's been fantastic. I mean, he's been a breath of fresh air, he's been front page news, he's been back page news. And I, I say it again, Jeff. He's just one of these coaches and one of these managers, as a player and as a fan, you absolutely love. And Liverpool, you know, will have a problem. I don't care what MD says; they will have a problem replacing somebody that's as good as that. Yeah. Well, uh, in the sun today, Dave Kidd uh, is speaking about the Blues now having lost six consecutive Wembley finals, mm. three of them against Klopp's Liverpool. But there's a good piece actually by Ian Ladyman in the Mail today. Um, it says, for this was not just a football match lost by Pochettino and his team. No, this was a triumph of one creed over another, a victory for continuity, patience and planning over the crudeness of a boom and bust football culture. But now you look at what... Klopp has and leaving and this headline being Pochettino must look at what Liverpool have and weep it shows you how quickly things can change you know and where Liverpool might be in a couple of years from now mm -hmm might be so different to where Chelsea are a yeah. couple of years from now. I, I would say, by the way, you know, Liverpool have spent a few quid over the years themselves. Yep. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6am on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.